Hi, welcome to the Perfect Swing Golf School. I'm Elaine Carson. In this installment of Simplifying the Rules of Golf, we found ourselves in the fairway or anywhere from the tee box through the green, and I'm in a puddle. And this puddle normally isn't here. It's just because it's rained a lot. So it's not part of a water hazard or part of a lateral water hazard. So the rules of golf consider this an abnormal ground condition in that it's not normal for the water to be here. As an extent of that, they call this casual water. Casual water is water, again, that's not normally there. So I am permitted under the rules to take relief from here without penalty. So under rule 25.1b, relief from abnormal ground conditions through the green if the ball lies through the green the player must lift the ball and drop it without penalty within one club length of and not near the hole then the nearest point of relief the nearest point of relief must not be in a hazard or on a putting green when the ball was dropped within one club length of the nearest point of relief the ball must first strike a part of the course at a spot that avoids interference with the condition, meaning we don't want to drop it back in the water that's casual water, and is not in a hazard and not on a putting green. So the putting green situation, that's going to be a different video, so I'll go more into that. But our situation right now, we're in the fairway, abnormal water conditions, casual water, abnormal ground condition, I can take relief without penalty. So here's how it would work. I want to first find my nearest point of relief, meaning I would go up to the ball. Obviously, this is wet, right? Wet, 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 wet. Oh, okay, right here, it dries up, okay? This is dry. I can feel over here that this is dry. So I'm going to place a T at my nearest point of relief. Now, Always, 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 I tell people, before you pick your ball up, mark it. Tell them there, your intention is that you're taking relief from casual water and an abnormal water, abnormal ground condition. Pick the ball up. And from this point, now I can take one club length from that nearest point of relief, no near the hole. So I'm gonna take my club length over here and mark it. So I've got from there to there to drop the ball and it's not in the water. So I'm gonna drop it. It's no near the hole. Now I can go ahead and strike my ball from there. So now I will caveat this by saying that if you're playing in a tournament or you're playing in a league and they have any rules that prohibit this casual water relief, then of course that would be in effect. But if the league doesn't have any rules or the tournament doesn't have any rules, it does abide, or it does afford in the rules that you can get relief from this casual water under the abnormal ground condition, find your nearest point of relief, and you can drop it one club length from that nearest point of relief, no near the hole. So we certainly hope that helps you in your pursuit of lifelong game improvement. Thank you very much for joining us for this installment of Simplifying the Rules of Golf. Again, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. You can do so by punching the subscribe button below. Thanks very much.